Hello everybody, welcome to this new uh, edition of um, programming with C++. Today's video we're going to be uh, taking a look into classes. Working with classes, for that we're going to be making a very simple class which define a name, short name, age, and then a function, class member function that will return name, surname, and age concatenated. So let's get started. Um, okay, the first thing we're gonna start with a empty project. I have an empty folder here on my file system. I will be, I will open the um, the console, and from here, oh, that's a code dot dot. I will launch my Visual Studio Code and I will then create here. Wait a minute, what's okay? Um, something is not okay, so let's launch it again. Just make sure that we have an empty project. So the first file, the main.cpp. That is where our main entry code relies. Uh, we're going to say uh, main enter. You will create automatically an empty function. And next, we're going to make a header file. We're going to name it person.cpp. Enter. Uh, sorry, that was not a header file, that was the implementation file, but nevertheless I will create the header file, which person.h, that's the header file, so uh, the syntax of a class is quite straightforward, but I'm going to use the IDE to make it for me. I just will write class or cla and enter, hit the enter key and it will create the class for me. <coughs> so this class has, the class starts right here with this keyboard class and ends here, right? What we have here below is actually the <coughs> There's the definition, the um, implementation of the class that we need to complete. So I will copy this and just cut this, everything that's outside of the class, and I will copy that into the person CPP, right? Right there. So the reason why it's showing up like this is because we haven't included the header from here. I will just, anytime I'm working on a file, I will try to just uh, close the other one so that we don't have any confusion on as to which file we are editing. I include here the header and in a while it should look fine. Okay, I go back to the header. So this header has nothing right now, just the signatures. We have uh, the start of the class, we have this section called private, which means that everything we define here will be only uh, accessible by members of the class. Um, so we're going to declare here, since we are going to work with standard class string, we need to include it in the header. What we call here, um, um, how it's called? String. And here we can create std um, string and we name it name. std string, we name it uh, surname, just like that. And we're gonna use in for the age. Um, so far, so good. Now we have this function right here, the signature, the signature with the same name of the class and the same name of the file. 
is what we know as the constructor and the one with this little tilde right here is what we know as the destructor so the constructor will be in charge of setting these parameters these variables that we have right here since they are private they would be only accessible by members of our class and in this case we're going to work with the constructor which is public so this constructor will require to have a oops, std string name std string uh, sure name and the integer age right good so now we're going to go to since this is only the signature we don't it doesn't have a body as you can see the body will be defined in the one file with the same name and the extension cpp so we go back to that file and right here we see that it's showing like in error that is because it says two overloads no instance overload blah 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 anyway we're just going to define or declare here the parameters wait for a while now it looks fine and we have the option here to set these parameters inside the body or outside I will set them outside it is more efficient and I will just shorten these names so that I have more space on my screen too they are not really like um, um, self-explanatory ABC but just for the sake of this exercise I will do it that way so we access name and we say that name is gonna be A we access a surname and we pass B and we access H and we pass C so that's 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 it now uh, when this class gets initialized and we pass three parameters two, two strings one integer it will automatically take those and work on these member variables it will set them it will initialize them with those uh, strings and integer so now we have constructor the destructor doesn't have take anything inside now let's see what we have to do here so we have here the destructor the constructor now as for now we will only inform when this um, constructor gets called so we need uh, here maybe some io string there you go io string and whenever we invoke this class initialize or instantiate this class we're going to just um, inform what we're doing and we're gonna see out saying constructing yep object and std end of line good and probably when we exit the program it will be also nice to provide some information of what's going on it is not required it's just for the sake of this exercise um, this shocking object so good now we head back to the main file and here we'll start using the class that we just created so include include person dot age right and now we're going to initialize that object the object person we're gonna call it p1 or just p or part one and you see this kind of like complaining no default constructor blah 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 yeah he says there's no default constructor for for uh, this object which means that 
this can only be instantiated if we pass uh, parameters, right? Now it just no complaint. Say hey, Andres um, Sanchez is uh, forty something. Good. Now let's try to compile this. Hey, build successfully. It says. Let's see if that's true. I need to analyze this. Oh yeah, this is already well set. So let's go and run the code. Mine. Yep, constructing object, object, destructing object. That's pretty good. If we wanted to compile this from the command line, we will have to pass um, G plus plus. Let me just remove the main that we just generated. We just have to pass from Linux um, minus O main and then main CPP and also that person. Um, compiler will find, will figure out where the headers are. So that's also another way to compile this. If for some reason you run into problems with the IDE, that will be the way to go. So now we have already uh, successfully initialized, created the class, initialized it with values, but we need to access those values or do anything meaningful with them within the class. So we are going to do some, uh, create here some other function. Let's call it get full name. Sorry full name get full name is not going to do anything special just concatenate these already set variables and return them to the color so if we move into the CPP we can then somewhere here no matter where we're going to uh, work up on the. We have to call with the full name. I mean, full, yeah, full name, qualifying name. And in the body, what's the problem here? Uh, explicit type is missing. Oh, yeah, because actually, a explicit type is missing, meaning that um, this guy needs to do something, needs to return some kind of whatever. So in this case, we're going to return a string, right? That is the return type. The return type is a string. So we need to go back to, sorry, I just close everything so you can see. It will return a string, right? Um, so the variable is, oops, this is std string. Um, this is the return type is a string. Okay, so this is the implementation of this function. We're going to implement here. So since in order to use this member function, we have to already have initialized or invoked instantiate the class. That means that the name and full name and age is already set so we can just return it returned name right uh surname and age oops but yes we have here some little error because of course we are returning a string and we are concatenating string with a string and an integer so in order to return an integer and concatenate it with a string we need to convert it so we're gonna say to string age there we go that's good so now we can from our main we have set um instantiated class person with a name surname and age 
and now we can go ahead and print it onto the screen so let's right here um, we need an IO stream in order to print so we're gonna say um, stdc out per oops per one with a dot we can access member objects and this is the function get full name we just had enter and probably just um std and uh, end of line and that should be I compile it seems like it's complaining let's see what it is complaining about. oh no it's not complaining it says build successfully pretty good so again main is now showing the name right so this is the basic structure let's just review it again let's start by the header the header contains this uh, syntax class keyboard name of your class which corresponds with the same name of your file it will always end with a semicolon you will have these two sections private only um, with parameters or variables only accessed by members of the same class in this case the public members will access um, these variables we have the constructor right here we have um, the destructor and we have a member function signature that is implemented in the cpp file so here we have again the constructor constructor this is not necessary we have included just because we want to see when it is um, called and we have parameters that are passed, the formal parameters and a column and the setters these will set the parameters and that's pretty much it and the, the structure again we don't need the body for the structure it's not required we can alternatively use it if we want and then we have our member function which needs to be um, implemented with the full qualifying name name of the class dot dot uh, column column name of the function the return type and inside um, you can start using the private variables that was were set before and that's pretty much it and then from the main file from the main we need to include into the header I mean in, in yeah to the header we need to include the header uh, something like that and um, yeah that's the way you, how you instantiate the um, the class how you use it one member function of that class and that's pretty much it and as for the compilation um, maybe I haven't shown you here but I have in my arguments minus all main and then I'm mentioning here which uh, CPP files I'm, I want to compile the compiler will figure out the headers for that so it can be compiled from here as well as from the command line by mentioning main ppp person ppp and the uh, you might as well just mention this and the compiler will suggest a dot owl that i can just uh, use as well so that's all for the moment 
I hope you uh, I hope it was um, yeah helpful and thanks for watching bye